This is time for the Winston here at Charlotte. 40 laps of racing. Who is going to have the bragging rights? Here is your 22 starters. Let's just get right into it. So right while we get the command going for this big race. Drivers, start your engines. On the pole oh, for this race is our winner at Richmond. It's the number two Miller Genuine Draft Pontiac of Liam Campbell. And alongside will be the number 13 Glidden Paint Chevy of Tim Fiegel, our winner at our Richmond race last season. Row two will be our four-time winner from season one in the 21 Sitco Ford of Ryan Cooper. And our winner at Darlington, the second race last season, the number 98 Winn-Dixie. Chevy of Daniel Schwab. Row 3 will be our Talladega winner from this season, the 36 Cox Treated Lumbers Pontiac of Jonathan Gators, and the 79 of our reigning champion, the Sunoco Cup Series, Shanat Delibara. Row 4 will be our reigning Winston winner in the 40 EDS Lumina, Dylan Hughes, and our winner of the Winston Open this season, the number 90 Splitfire Spark Plugs Ford of Alex Filter. Then it will be Dylan Ruiz in the Levi Garrett Chevy, car number 5, our winner at Bristol this season. And Eric Matthews, the winner of the Coca-Cola 600 last season. Then it will be John Acosta, our winner at Bristol Night Race last season. And Nick Baxter, then our winner at Martinsville this season. Dylan Poteet, our winner of season 1 here at Charlotte, the second race is going to be next. And Connor Breton, our winner at season 1, North Wolfsboro, second race. Then John Dawson, our winner at season one. At Talladega, the second race, the Skylar Harris, our winner at North Wilkes Road this season. Austin Hughes, our defending Winston Open winner. Colin Cropley, our winner at Las Vegas. Keon Shaw, four wins this year. Dylan Kilburn, Daytona 500 winner. James Qualls, our winner at Pocono last season, first race. And Michael Dawson, with two wins this season one, will round out the field. We had to make it quick to the point, and we're going green. 40 laps of racing here at Charlotte. Liam Campbell with the early jump on things. Tim Fiegel will drop back to second. Ryan Cooper now battles it out with Daniel Schwab. Three wide battle right behind. You can see Eric Matthews there. As now Fiegel's going to dive to the inside of Campbell. Liam got into the Winston by winning our last event at Richmond. The Miller Genuine Draft 400. Now Cooper, with the help of Jonathan Gators, is going to try to poise a challenge. There's Dylan Hughes, our reigning Winston winner, who actually got into the Winston care of finishing second in the Open and turned it into a win. It was actually the one-two punch where Austin Hughes actually won the race. The Winston Open, that is. Dylan finished second. Austin actually finished second in the Winston Open this season behind Alex Filter. And here comes Dylan Hughes. He's going to try to take advantage of the situation. He's not going to leave that lap. Jonathan Gators will. We're only three laps of 40 into the books. Now John Acosta's going to push. Dylan Ruiz right behind. Dylan Pote, winner of season one here in the Ball race right there. Daniel Schwab, our winner at the Bud Shootout, as well as our winner at Johnson last season. And now Acosta turns to the Schwab, excuse me, not Schwab, Ruiz and Poti. There's Schwab. Skylar Harris. Michael Dawson. I mean, that's, that's John Dawson. Michael drives the 12. Austin Hughes right there. Tim Fiegel. Skyler Harris passing Daniel Schwab to the number two spot as Dylan Ruiz will lead this lap. Ruiz. It's a one-on-one -on -one in the book. Here comes now Skyler Harris with the help of John Dawson. Austin Hughes right there. Tim Fiegel still there. There's John Michael Dawson. He's actually behind Fiegel. See, he's actually that's not him. That's Keon Shaw. Correction. Dawson. Michael Dawson's behind Dylan Kilburn. Meanwhile, it is Skylar Harris in second. Daniel Dylan Ruiz leads. Daniel Schwab up high with Dylan Cote as well. Now Ruiz will go up high. Skylar Harris will dive down low. He'll take the number one spot. Following suit is the 19 Tyson Ford of John Dawson. Now Dawson's going to go to the inside. Austin Hughes pushing. Tim Fiegel's still there. Ford 
Olds, Buick, Chevy right there, top four. You want to look for your first Pontiac. Where's the first of the Pontiacs? And Skylar Harris got put on the high side. Saved it. I do believe Nick Baxter will be our first of our Pontiacs as he's pushing Colin Cropley. That's our first of our Pontiacs. Tim Bigler will take the lead from Austin Hughes with the help of Keon Shaw. Here comes Dylan Kilburn, the Daytona 500 winner. And Michael Dawson, Colin Cropley now pushing as well. Getting a little tight down there. Skylar Harris getting pushed into the wall again. He saved that. They're taking a lot of driving jobs. It's almost like Darlington racing out here. They're getting punched into the wall. It's Keon Shaw, your points leader. Four-time winner will take the number one spot. Three wide going into the turn. Almost Dylan Kilburn almost got shoved into the wall by Michael Dawson, but not to be. Keon Shaw will actually lead that lap. Keon, who actually saw his lead dwindle considerably by DNQing at Richmond. It actually closed the gap to less than 100 points. So his points lead right now is in major jeopardy. And one of the drivers who wants to take that points lead from him is Colin Cropley, who takes the number two spot from, Austin, from Michael Dawson. Austin Hughes pushing now. Keon Shaw will lead another lap. We are just creeping up on the quarter way mark. It's 10 laps down and 30 more to go. Still got a long way to go. Now Colin Kropp is going to make a move to the inside of Keon Shaw with the help of Daniel Schwab. Keon tried to block the inside lane, did not have any success as Colin Cropley will take the top spot and lead at the 10 lap down. 30 to go. Here's Alex Filter getting pushed from Eric Matthews. Oh, Colin Cropley shoved Keon up high. Keon saved it. Colin actually lost a little bit there as Daniel Schwab will take it. Eric Matthews is going to take the number two spot now with the help of Alex Filter and our reigning champion, Chantelli Barra. Now Colin pinned up on the high side. He better be careful. As Eric Matthews will lead this lap. Three wide battle. Austin Hughes, Connor Brayton, Colin Cropley. Don't want to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and getting punted into the wall. Filter. Now going to challenge Eric Matthews. He'll take the number one spot. Chantelli Barr is going to push now. Eric Matthews will go up high. Now the lead is going to be up for grabs. Will it be Filter? Will it be Chantel? It'll be Filter leading that lap, but Chantel will take it from here. Connor Breton now moving up into the third spot, challenging Eric Matthews. Filter goes up high. Three wide battle for third, second. Connor Breton has that advantage. As he's got the extreme inside. Eric Matthews has got the middle, and Filter's pinned up on high. Chantelle Barra will lead a lap now. Connor Breton now goes to second. Here comes John Acosta, Tim Fiegel yet again. Dylan Kilburn, the Copenhagen Olds right there. We got Chevy. We got Sh Ford, we got Olds, and then we got another Chevy, and we got another Olds, and then we got a Pontiac, and that being Jonathan Gators, and then we got our first Buick, that's James Qualls. And we got trouble! Dylan Ruiz gets spun, and we're still green. He saved it. He's off the racing roof, so it's fine. Fair game. Dylan Ruiz got spun there as Connor Breton leads the lap. Tim Beagle goes to the inside of, with Jonathan Gators helping. As that's a tough break for Dylan Ruiz. He was just a strong for a while now, getting spotted in that one turn. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to check now. We'll check if there's a yellow. If not, then we're basically, you know, you've got what you got. James Qualls a three way battle there with Daniel Schwab. John Acosta gets punted into the wall and gets back into the groove right behind Skylar Harris. Daniel Schwab's going to go to the inside with Dylan Ruiz. All right, almost trying to make it four wide it is the number 12 of Michael Dawson. Not enough. It's Tim Fiegel will lead with Jonathan Gators pushing. Alex Filter now goes into third. Dylan Hughes yet again in fourth. As Connor Breton drops back. 
New leader. Here comes Jonathan Gators. Dylan Hughes takes the bonsai from the post inside of Alex Filter. Connor Breton right there. A couple of Chevys pushing the Pontiac. And Jonathan Gators will take the number one spot. Creeping up on the halfway point of this race. It's Jonathan Gators leading Connor Breton second. Actually, John Connor Breton's going to be second as Dylan Hughes is going inside of Gators. And then it will be Daniel Schwab, Austin Hughes. John Dawson, John Acosta as well. Looks like Connor Breton will lead another lap. Daniel Schwab will get the second. Austin Hughes about to go for third. Now Schwab's going to go to the inside of Connor Breton. Hughes tried to take a little bit of a dive down the long, but gets back in line. Now Hughes is going to take it on Schwab. He's going to try to take this lap going out of turn number four. As we're just about one lap shy from the halfway point of this race, and Austin Hughes currently has it. An interesting thing is you could win no other races and just win the Winston, and you're guaranteed a spot. You don't have to. So if you're someone like Austin Hughes, who has not won this season, has, not, has no wins under his belt, he could actually get into the Winston for a good portion of time by winning. John Dawson is going to lead this lap now. He'll lead the halfway point as Derek Matthews and Dylan Pote. Matthews is going to take number two. Dylan Pote is going to take number three. And Chantelli Bar, your champion, is going to try to go for the fourth spot. And Matthews, Pote tries to make a move on Eric. He better be careful because here comes... Chantelli Bar to the inside with the help of Skyler Harris. Matthews, the winner of the Coca-Cola 600, which will also help your cause. If you win the Coca-Cola 600, you can also have, it will help you in getting in the Winston. There's usually three ways. Win the championship, win the Winston, or win the Coca-Cola 600. That's how it is. Usually in the Winston, Poti will take the number two spot. Ibarra now will take the number two spot now. Is Skyler Harris, a pair of Oldsmobiles are going to go back to back, properly back into it as well. As we are just 23 laps into the books, I do believe, yep. Now, Harris pushing properly, properly pushing Harris. Liam Campbell as well being involved. Ryan Cooper. And still, John Dawson. There's Nick Baxter. Pontiac. Pushing Cooper. So we got Ford, Olds, Olds, Chevy, and then a Pontiac. As now Ibarra's going to go to the side of Dawson. And it will be Chantelli Bar taking the number one spot, but not for long. Here comes Skyler Harris, Colin Cropley, and Liam Campbell. Probably tries to look into the inside. Can't really make any dive bomb moves now. It's kind of stupid. So getting down to the bottom of the wire. We've still got about double, still double digits of laps to go as Colin Cropley's going to take the lead from Skylar Harris. Then Liam Campbell. How about Chantelli Barra, wise enough to find the opening to get back down to the inside, something that a lot of cars have had trouble with. As Chantel goes right back from being out in the number one spot, back into the number two spot. Nick Baxter, Dylan Kilburn. Now Ibarra is going to go to the inside of Campbell. Kilburn goes to the inside of Baxter. And now it's another one two punch of all the wheels. This time with Nick Baxter and Chantelli Barra. We got two Pontiacs and two Oldsmobiles. And then you got a pair of Chevys. And then you have a Buick, and that being Michael Dawson. Now Kilburn's gonna go to the inside. Beagle right there as well. Colin 
Cropley yet again. Dylan Killeburn leads that lap, but here comes a pair of Chevys. In the Buick, that is Michael Dawson. There is another Buick in Austin Hughes right there on the inside. As well as Dylan Hughes. Now Crop looking from the inside of Beagle with the help of Michael Dawson. Here comes Austin Hughes. Alex Stilton right behind. Pair of three wide going on right there. As Austin Hughes will take the number four spot from Ibarra. Alex Filter now goes to the inside of Dylan Hughes, the reigning Winston winner. As Kilburn goes a little bit high, and Michael Dawson will take the number one spot. Here comes Austin Hughes. Inside of Chantelli Bar. Try to take the number four spot. And Beagle goes to the inside of Cropley. Hughes pushing. Leading that lap will be Michael Dawson. Started dead last in this race. And has done well. Austin Hughes now goes to number three. Alex Filter fourth. Dylan Kilburn back into the spot number five. And then John Acosta is going to try to get into it as well. Filter now goes to the inside of Hughes. Dawson tries to maintain that number one spot. As Beagle tried to make a vote, but no avail. Ten laps to go. Here comes Alex Filter again. The Blue Oval trying to dance with the GM cars. We do have a, a, a Buick, a Chevy, and an Oldsmobile right there. Once again, our next Pontiac is Eric Matthews. Here comes Daniel Schwab against Chantel Bar right there. James Qualls pushing Chantel. Nine to go. And it's still Michael Dawson. But here comes Alex Filter. He finished. He won the Winston Open. He would like to win the Winston and sweep the table. I know Dylan Kilburn begs to differ. Beagle says the same. That's why Tim dives to the inside to push the blue over. Eight to go this time by. As Alex Filter will lead this lap. comes Kilburn, that's not Kilburn, Beagle. James Qualls gets into the number five spot now. He's starting to try to pick up the pace. He's another guy who finished in the shotgun field. Both him and Michael Dawson started the last row. And now they're in the top lot. As Qualls is going to make a move on Kilburn. Filter. Chantel. Now makes a move on Qualls. I don't think that was a good idea for... James to get in there with Dylan Kilburn because he's about to lose the spot to Chantelli Barr. Meanwhile, up front, here comes John da Michael Dawson yet again inside of Alex Filter. And now Dylan Kilburn takes advantage of it yet again. Chantelli Barr takes advantage of it yet again. Six to go. Michael Dawson leads another lap. Chantelli Barr now dives in with Dylan Kilburn. So now the Oldsmobile's teaming up. There's Dylan Pote. Whoa, not bonsai move there by Tim Field to block Pote. You could clearly see that when Keon Shaw right there on Pote's back bumper. Now Pote goes to the inside of Fiegel and Pote. Will try to get himself into the top five. Now here comes Chantel Ibarra. Five laps to go. Ibarra takes the number two spot from Dawson. Poteet now is in fourth. Keon Shaw, your points leader, right now is in fifth. Keon's going to try to get to the inside. He got enough momentum. He's going to take it. If Michael Dawson still leads the top three. He now moves into the battle again. Kilburn up on the high side. Chantel right now second. Keon Shaw now going to third. Now you got a Buick, a Chevy, a Ford, a Chevy, and we have our Ford again with John Acosta. Skyler Harris with an Oldsmobile as well. Four to go. Still. Michael Dawson, but here comes Chantel. He's 
Tom Bodley, three laps to go. Can Chantel make a move? Answer, not yet. But now she's gonna make a move. I wonder if you bide your time enough, you could probably have enough to make a difference. Chantel goes to the inside of Dawson, not enough room. And that actually costed her a little bit because here comes Connor Breton to try to challenge. Connor Breton's gonna go for the number two spot as Michael Dawson will lead with two laps to go. And Connor Breton will take the number two spot. Now the gap's starting to close up the center. John Acosta moves him up to the second spot. Skyler Harris, Ryan Cooper. There's Nick Baxter. This time by will be the white flag. Here comes John Acosta. Inside of Connor Breton. Nope, Connor closes the door. Michael Dawson right now watching everything with beaded breath. White flag here in the Winston. It is still Michael Dawson, can Connor Breton, John Acosta. Connor Breton's going to peek on the inside. Can he have enough room? No, he doesn't. This is do or die time as they head down the back straightaway. Here comes John Acosta. Chantelle Ibarra pushing. That cookie make or break for everybody. But no, Connor Breton's going to try to make one last move to the inside. No avail. Your winner of the Winston is Michael Dawson. He'll take it. Connor Breton will finish second. Third spot will go to John Acosta. Fourth spot to Chantelle Ibarra. Fifth spot to Skyler Harris. Then Nick Baxter, Austin, Dylan Hughes, Austin Hughes, Daniel Schwab, and Ryan Cooper. Michael Dawson started dead last. Didn't make a difference. He won this one. Then 11th to 20th were Eric Matthews, Colin Cropley, Keon Shaw, Liam Campbell, our pole sitter, James Qualls, Alex Filter, our winner of the Winston Open, Jonathan Gators, Dylan Pote, Dylan Kilburn, John Dawson, Tim Fiegel, who was looking strong for a while and just never was able to he was right there in the hunt and finished 21st and rounding out the field when he crashed, spun in the front on the back straightaway early on, didn't trigger any yellows. That was Dan Dylan Ruiz here in the Winston. Your winner here today, Michael Dawson. Just clearly had a dominant run showing. Now the next race of the Sonoma Cup Series will be the Coca-Cola 600. Don't miss it.